Fine. Here we go. We're live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. We're coming to you live from the Torch Center from part two of the weekly Torch University. And I thank you all so much for joining us. Tonight, we are going to share with you a partial minute, a one minute Dvar Torah, or maybe a few more than one minute, more than a few more minutes than one. An idea of this week's Parsha, and then we're going to learn our regular uh, Torah study that we do every week on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock here at the Torah Center. You're welcome to come here on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock for Rabbi Yaakov's teachings on Jewish uh, biographies and Jewish history. So, it's very interesting that in this, in this week's Parsha, we see something that we almost never see. And that is that Jacob is ready to give a, uh, Jacob is giving a blessing to all of his children. All of his children are getting a blessing. But there are two who seemingly do not get a blessing. And that is Shimon and Levi. Shimon and Levi get blasted by their father Jacob on why, why did you uh, on, on, on the force that they used to beat the, uh, the, the people of Shechem, the people of Nablus. Right? Because they felt that their sister was wrong and they were going to take revenge. That's not the way you treat a daughter of Jacob. So, our sages say an incredible thing. So, before we talk about what the sages say, just a quick question. Everybody's getting a blessing except for Shimon and Levi, right? They are getting reprimanded. They're getting beaten. How is it possible that everybody gets a blessing except for Shimon and Levi? Sages tell us an amazing thing. A blessing, the greatest blessing that you can give someone is telling them one of their flaws. The greatest blessing that you can bless someone is telling them their flaw. If you tell someone their flaw, you have given them the greatest blessing. Do you know why? Because someone who really wants to grow, someone who really wants to grow, will love and cherish that opportunity that now you've given them an insight into their character. You know, every single person that you know has a blind spot. When you drive, you have a blind spot. Even if you have one of those fancy cars that gives you a notice on your, on your mirror that there's something in your blind spot, it still doesn't show you what's in your blind spot. But you have a blind spot. You have an area that you won't be able to see because you have a certain, even if you're able to see your blind spot, there's a blind spot behind you that you won't be able to see perhaps. We all have areas of our lives that we cannot See, having a friend who can help you identify those flaws, who can help you identify those blind spots, is the greatest gift that you can have. So a person who has a bad temper and doesn't realize that they have a bad temper, you know what? Telling them and getting identifying it for them that they have that bad temper is the absolute greatest gift you can give them. They don't even know it. Most people, you tell them, you know, you have a really bad temper. Me? What are you talking about? You say, come, look, I video you. Take a look. Right? It's like, I can't believe I... A person who wants to grow will benefit most from a constructive criticism than anything else. Now, why is this greater than a blessing? Why is this considered greater than a blessing? The fact that someone would be able to receive and accept a, a reprimand would be better than a blessing. So think about this. What is a blessing? A blessing, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't happen. It means you put a request. You put a request by God, okay? You say, I want to give a blessing that Howard should heal and he should be better. Amen. Okay? He should feel better. Now, that could be answered by the Almighty saying, okay, no problem done, or not. 
Does he have the power to make it happen? No. No. You're putting in a request. You're sending in a request to the, to the management saying, please, if you can, please give this blessing to this person. Help this person. But you can't guarantee any of that. So, but when you give someone criticism, lovingly, <coughs> caringly, because you love them and you want to help them, it's in their hands to make that blessing come true. They can make that blessing come to life on their own. All they need to do is work on themselves. So in fact, what our sages tell us is that the greatest blessing that Jacob gave his children was the blessing he gave to Shimon and Levi. Now, I want to just give a disclaimer to our viewers uh, out there in Facebook. Thank you again for joining us. And what, what I want you to know is that the Talmud tells us that there's a mitzvah, well, we, the Torah tells us there's a mitzvah to give constructive criticism. You have a mitzvah to give criticism. But the Talmud says, just like the Torah commands us to give criticism, where you know that the person will listen, there's a mitzvah not to give criticism in a, in a place where you know that the person will not accept. So if you know that the person will not listen to you, you have no business giving them constructive criticism. But I really care about If you know they're not going to listen, you have no business telling them that. Now the question I get most commonly is, well, how do I know if they're going to accept or not? I'm not a prophet. Well, if you don't know them well enough to yeah. know if they're going to accept or not, then you for sure have no business telling them. All right? So every person needs to know that... A, if you want to be a person of growth, take every opportunity to, to learn about yourself, to grow. You have a blind spot, and someone who's giving criticism, you know what, even if they don't say it nicely, even if they don't package it nicely, even if they're not someone you love, even if they're not someone you respect, if you really care about your own spiritual growth, you will cherish it. You will cherish it because it's an opportunity for me to see something about myself that I otherwise would neglect. I would otherwise not pay attention to. All right? Hashem should bless us all that we should, uh, we should learn more about ourselves and love that growth that we can become the best possible person we can be. And our life will be filled with blessing in so doing. Uh, those of you who are joining us on Facebook, we're going to part from you now. And we apologize that we have to end here. And we will continue Thursday morning on Facebook Live uh, from Congregation Beth Yishurn at 9.30 in the morning. You're welcome to join us there. Our regular class, our regular Torch University class will continue now. Thank you so much for joining us. If you like this class, please like it and share it.